Are you tired of constantly moving your base around or struggling to find the perfect spot to settle down? The island can be a vast and violent world, making it challenging to find that one place to call home. But fear not, I've picked out my top 10 best base locations to help you decide. These range from big open areas to the small closed in spaces. So let's begin. Coming in at number 10, you will find this at latitude 75 and longitude 85. Now this is a great location for the beginners especially because it's only a stone throw away from Herbivore Island. Look at this Pteranodon propagating its head in it. Proper wants to be part of the video. You're not the star of the show, I am. Just hanging around. It's reasonably safe. I say this because just a little bit down the beach, they do spawn Rexes, but very rare. They're normally just attacking Brontos anyway in their own little well. But if you're up for the challenge of landscaping, you can knock some of these rocks away, chop up some of these trees, and you have a nice area. And in this spot, you could easily build a large base and continue to expand. You can even use the top of the hill that's reasonably flat as well. But this is a nice base because it is near the beach, so it has the option of building a taming pen for your water creatures, or even just a dock for your boat. So we've got to give the Pteranodon its credit. Thank you for sticking around. A round of applause for the Pteranodon, ladies and gentlemen. So coming in at number nine, we have a stone throw away from the previous base. It is at latitude 78 and longitude 79. Now the good thing about this base is it's a lot more safer than where we just previously was. You have the rock base to cover part of your base if you build it against the wall as I have done it previously. You're also on the beach and the water is really close so you can build that pen to hold your water creatures. There's also an explorer note not too far and you do get a drop as well that can spawn in right next to your base. Depending on how close you build to this though, it may not spawn back in. And if you're up for the challenge of doing a bit of landscaping again, you can, you know, knock some of these rocks down, break a few trees and expand on that base. And Herbivore Island's a throwaway, so craft a little boat and you can get over there in no time. So coming in at number eight is a familiar spot to probably all of us actually, because it's probably the first place that you're gonna spawn in when starting on Ark Survival Ascended, or even Evolve. The location is latitude 78 and longitude 36, or South Zone 1. Now this is a great place to start because you've got a lot of friendly dinos around you. Yes, you do get spawned with dillos and things like that, but there is also a lot of dodos lying around. There's a lot of water around so you can build pens for your water creatures, but as well, you're just in a safe place and this is probably everyone's first spawn when starting on Ark. Now with the water being either side as well, it means that there's only one way that you can see dinos come in. Players, unfortunately, is a different story. They can come by land, sea or air, so it makes it a little bit tricky and you're a bit more in the open. But for you guys that are on single player, then it doesn't matter. Coming in at number 7 is the Forbidden Lake and this can be found at latitude 22 and longitude 69. Now this is a great little place to actually build a base. The only trouble is getting to it. It can host some pretty deadly creatures, I'm not going to lie. But once you've fled the area out and set up who's the dominant species on the island, you should be fine. It's got a nice lake and you have the cliffs at the side to build up on. Now, it was a lot better in Ark Survival Evolved, it was a bit more flatter, but it doesn't mean that you can't build out on the Ark Survival Ascended. It just means that you've got a bit more landscaping to do. But once you've knocked all these trees down and got rid of all the rocks, you will find there's a great place to build a nice medium sized base. You could even do multiple small structures around this area, but it's a great place and it's surrounded by high cliff tops as well. So, do expect the odd dangerous dino to maybe drop in once in a while, but other than that, you can find this to be a great place to settle down, and I have done in the past. Oh yeah, there's also piranhas in this water, so be careful. These guys think they're cool, but they're not. Coming in at number 6 is Stonehenge, latitude 86, longitude 
54. Now, there's quite a lot of places around Stonehenge that you can build. I'm just pointing Stonehenge out in general because there's a lot of flat areas. But this area in particular is nice, wide open and big. You could easily fit a large base here. And not very many creatures that are going to kill you will spawn here. Maybe the odd Sarko might come in through the water. But other than that, you should be fine. And there's a lot of water as well for you to build your taming pen for your water creatures. It's just a nice, huge open area. This is just a great place. I've never actually built on this, but it is a great, huge flat area that you can build on. What is it with the creatures in this video? Always trying to get the red in. Coming in at number five is one of my all-time favorite places to build. The only trouble is it's near the swamps. What are you doing in my swamp? So to find this location, you're looking at 46 latitude and 86 longitude. And even though this has a variety of creatures that may come and kill you, it is a great base location. It's nice and flat. It's great for Titanoboa collecting as you can kill a lot of them or you can tame them. So this is great for taming swamp creatures because they're right near your base and some of them come out of the swamps near your base. It is a plus and a negative to build in here. But as you can see, there's a huge area to build on. This can make extra large bases. Once you get past the deadly creatures, you'll notice how much of a beautiful home you can build here. And it keeps you on your toes, I would say. You don't get comfortable when you live here because you're constantly expecting something to be outside your house. Coming in at number four, we all know it, we all love it, we always try and get to it, let's face it. It's Herbivore Island, located at latitude 88, longitude 88. This is 100% the safest place you could build a base in the whole entire game. It's named Herbivore Island because only herbivores spawn there, so you have no trouble when it comes to creatures attacking you. Unless you obviously provoke them first, then it's a different matter. But with its natural bay, helping you build a taming pen is great, and keeping out the megalodons is pretty simple. Just build a few walls, block out that bay, and you've got a safe pen that no creatures can get in or out of. Now the location I'm thinking of is in the exact middle of this island and with it having the high rock walls surrounding it there's just one funnel of entrance that people can use unless they drop in from the air. Maybe you might get the odd Bronto stomping around giving the ground shaking annoyance but other than that this is the safest place and easiest place to build as it's got natural resources even spawn metal. Coming in at number three is the location where I built my large base and you saw how big that was. It is at latitude 59, longitude 23, and it's just a great place to build in general. You do have to do a fair bit of landscaping to get rid of the rocks and the trees and stuff. But once you've got it, you've got a great location to build a base, a large base at that. This is great because no creatures that are deadly tend to come here. Some have wandered in there, though. I will give you the heads up. But other than that, it's just probably the odd raptor or something like that. But once you've established a base, put a few walls up, you'll be fine. And this is a great location as well. It's near the swamp biome not far from the redwoods and it's also got some lovely creatures around it it makes it a great place to settle down maybe start a family now coming in at number two i've used this location more than once or twice it is at latitude 88 and longitude 24. This cliff face is only two ways to get up from either side, which makes it great for defending. Now, this base is great for large bases as well because it's just mostly flat. And to make it even better, they've now added in Ark Survival Ascended this nice looking temple thing that just adds to your base. This is a great little thing. You can actually use the stairs to go down and build your taming pen at the bottom for your water dinos and stuff. So that makes it a great little feature that's already added in the game using the structure that is already provided by the game. And it's definitely worthy of being number two on my list. Taking the top spot for me is located at latitude 70 and longitude 12. 
Now, you will all know this place as where most of my island videos were filmed because this is the number one for me. It's the best place to build on by far. It is located at the tip of the peninsula and it's great because it's got a natural bay for you to build your water pens and things like that. As well as that, you don't get no dangerous creatures heading this way. It is a great place to build. If you need any reasons to go ahead and build here, just look at my videos and you will see that I built on this and I made it really, really good. It was a really big base as well. I even had a really tall tower. But for me, this is just hands down the best place to build and it's the place I will always build when building on Ark Survival Ascended or even Evolve. And here's a bonus one for you guys. It's also very challenging. That's why I didn't put it in my list. I just added it as a bonus at the end. And it is here on Kano Island. Yeah, the most dangerous place to be on the island, I'm recommending it as a base location. Now, if you ever watch my Rhino Oganafa video, you will know that I actually built a base on here. And without a doubt, it's probably one of the most exciting places I've ever built a base. Because you have the fear of being attacked and killed every time you go out your house. It makes the game a little bit more interesting and more intense. But this is not for the faint hide and not for new players. Because it's just a place where you're going to die a lot. Until I built my base up, I did take a few L's. But the best recommended way to do this is live on a boat. Live on a raft for a few days until you've got enough to actually start building properly. And then build a base as quick as possible. And you're going to need some defenses. But it just makes the game a lot more interesting. So let me know, guys, if you ever build on Kano Island. And let me know how it goes. So guys, that has been my top 10 base locations for you. I know there's probably a lot more out there and I probably will do, depending on how well this video does, another video on other locations and stuff like that because the world is full of quite good locations for various reasons. I wanted to kind of stick with the locations that even new players can use. That's why there was not too much in like the snow biome and places like that, the redwoods. So I kept it for you low level players or you new beginners that already find Ark a bit too hard. But that's all for today and I hope you did enjoy it guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And if you appreciate the channel, don't forget to click that thanks button and leave a nice little donation. It'll go towards my millions, I wish. But that is it guys and until next time, I'll see you soon.